this is going to be an, a search for an impossibility of the state from opposite spectra. Now, as you know, states form and depend on 90% ideology to 10% consolidation. Well, that's just a mind's eye estimate, and I'd be making numbers up by saying that. But, I guess that's some a habit I learned from my teacher, if you will. Regardless. States, um, have a tendency to consolidate a lot of things. There's an infinitum of things that you can consolidate with the state. And now, the problem with that is that, um, states are purely borders, which count as territories. And if a major consolidation of territories, it's usually inconvenient and will eventually collapse because the fact that becomes harder to run. And the structure of the state has to change to something that's less minor and more inconvenient using the a terminology that's cliche totalitarian but I hate using that word I think it's very cliche but what happens if the ideology spectrum was also kind of screwed up that it is there's a high rate of unnecessary consolidations and a low rate of ideology well then there would be an issue where the many different nations that are being covered by this state are territories that are unified as a single nation to start to think, ah, oh, shit, man. Should this be a, the right consolidation? I think that once that ideology sparks where you realize that the consolidation shouldn't exist, that's when the impossibility forms. That you've consolidated with a bunch of people who realize that your consolidation isn't working. And this occurs as the second end to a lot of states. And this is all stuff that I'm going to use good methodology on in my next installment. Because you see. The inability to settle the disputes is one thing. The inability for people to s end up um, finding your ideology to be verified in them, that's another impossibility. And it's impossibility that happens because, as you know, states operate on a fantasy structure that can very well be easily illusionated. People can easily walk past that illusion of a fantasy structure. And that usually becomes the other thing that will kill states. All in all, let me make an evaluation. If there's a high level of consolidation, low level of ideology, people outright realize that your structure is dysfunctional, that's what kills it. And no matter how small this happens, the state happens to be, once the structure is realized, to be utterly worthless or nominal to a group of persons large enough, people large enough, then that state will fall structurally from bottom up. Alright, this is a little rough, but I'll take it. I'll improve upon it in a few installments.